Hey, Shalom, Shalom. This is Tazadad Dad coming back to you with this truth and knowledge through the scriptures, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Wakakadash. Hey, double honor to the Pops and the others, a great millstone, peace and salutation for the whole black Akim that's pushing this word for true sincerity. Um, you know, just more of a, a rant, not much of a rant. I'm gonna bring up some scriptures with that and everything. Um, as you can see, you know, um, you know, <laughs> the spirit, I really wanted bloodshed, man, on January 20th and stuff. But, you know, things go according to the Yahweh Bashim Yashai's time. But there will be, okay? You know, things happen on his time and stuff. And, um, you know, and, but you know what's so funny? What I'm looking at, you see our people, man, crying for this motherfucker, man. All right? Crying for Kamala, <clears throat> the Ugandan warrior. I'm just kidding. Um, you see people just crying about it, crying like, like they, 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 um, fought, they fought, um, they, they passed tyranny from Trump, so-called tyranny, and, um, now they celebrate thinking things going to get better, man, and no, it's not going to get any better. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me get it out real quick, all right? Let me get the scripture. All right, this is um, it's not gonna get any better. So people think they know right now that 2021, since we got a new elected president, Creepy Joe, in office, but they have no idea what's his first plans laid out. His first, one of his first plans that's laid out is massive COVID-19 vaccinations through the help of the military. People don't understand that. They don't see it. Okay. So uh, let me get the first scripture here, all right? This is um, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. I'm just going to make it short, you know. Um, you know, people think, oh, you guys is full of shit, man. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. But you know what? It always happens that way, you know, because people are carnal creatures. They only see what their eyes see. They can't see further past their hands. They can't see further past the block they grew up. They can't. They can't see further the projects they they grew up at, man. They haven't gone anywhere, okay? So they they like they know in a fleshly state of mind, like a bunch of freaking um um demons, creatures, man. You know what I'm saying? Flesh eating creatures. All right. So let me get the first scripture. This is first Thessalonians, first Thessalonians fifth chapter. Cause this is where we at. Because right now they really think because they have um. Kamala Harris for the so-called black woman <clears throat> what you black women don't seem to understand that Kamala Harris is not a black woman period all right how I know because she's a goddamn coolie man all right her parents are East Indian okay East Indians all right and there's East Indians in the West Indies man okay brothers know brothers who know from the West Indies they we, we know we know what's a coolie when we see it, okay? All right, she may look like a, a light-skinned black bitch with with, um, with, a, with good hair, but she's an East Indian. She's not, you got to understand her track record, man, and Joe Biden's track records, man, all right? That that crime bill law. You know how many niggas she locked up and how many niggas, niggas Biden locked up? Man, you don't know, all right? But y'all going, going with the emotions, man. All right. This is Second Thessalonians, fifth chapter. You start at the top, okay? Now you know what? First Thessalonians, fifth chapter, start at the top. But for the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. How do we know perfectly that the Lord is going to come and think that? Why? Because we in the scriptures. We read this. We have the knowledge and wisdom of the of this of the scriptures, man. That's how we know that he's going to come as a thief of the night. Just as the times of Noah, so is the day of the Lord. What happened in the times of Noah? People was talking shit to Noah, man. While him and his people, his his family were building. While they were building, people were making fun of him. And what happened? When they expected not. It started. It was starting flooding, man, and it's gonna happen again because right now, our people's caught up in a laid back, 
I'm going to do this as my resolution. They they in a peaceful state. Right now, they in a state where they got their feet up on the chair. Okay? Like I said before, put on your seatbelt because 2021 is going to be a rocky year. You have no idea what's going on in the Middle East right now. Everything's coming to play. Okay? First, look, first Thessalonians 5th chapter, but, uh, but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief of the night. For when they say peace and safety, right now, you got you got our people celebrating Biden's um, inauguration. Okay? Alright? And they think everything's going to get better. Um, they don't have to pay that much bills. Not knowing this guy's going to tax you even more. Okay? Number two, it could be unrighteous decrees declared. As you can see, the first one, who did he made as, um, who did he made the first secretary of the physicians? A goddamn tranny, man. All right? A goddamn transgender, man, which will be put to death soon. Okay? It shows you how, order, how, how out of order the leadership of this country is, man. Okay? This is nothing but pure wickedness. And guess who's going to defend that? Our people's going to defend that shit. You can't judge the herb. It's not even a herb to begin with. But that's going to something else, all right? For when I say, when, for for when they shall say peace and safety, that's what they're pushing. Peace and safety, okay? Then sudden distraction, then sudden destruction come up upon them. That's what's going to happen. Everybody going to have their feet laid back, hat back, hat to the back, sipping, all right? Thinking everything's going to be better. We're going to trust in Biden, creepy Joe. And then all of a sudden, man, all hell's going to break loose, man. How's it going to happen? Through unrighteous decrees. That's one of them. They're going to push laws for you to take that vaccination. Two, they're going to make it even worse. They're going to bring a, a, a worse strain to really force you to take that vaccination that's going to lead into the chip. Because what you people don't understand, that Biden is playing into the new and playing to the role and added on to the new plans of the new world order. And y'all don't seem to understand that. He already pushing laws in place, man. He he's already gonna ban um he's gonna um lift the, the ban on uh, on a uh, transgender or joining the military. Okay. For when they shall say peace and saving, then sudden destruction come upon them at Chevelle and upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. You're not gonna escape the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because right now, I'll tell you now for a long time. The Lord is angry at this place, man. And he's going to visit it. And how he, he's already visiting right now. Through your economics. Your economic ruin over here in America. Y'all totally in debt. Okay? Y'all cannot get out of it. As an economics major, I know. Okay? Um, number two. They're going to start pushing more un unrighteous decrees, man. The stay-at-home laws. Because remember, part of his plans was... Wearing masks for the first hundred days, man. And why is he pushing the military to mobilize the military even more? To what? To help with the vaccination. Why? Why the military? You got to think about this, man. Don't let things go past your head. All right? Um, but ye brethren are not in darkness. So it says, for your brothers, that's in this knowledge, you're not in darkness. We had a taste of darkness. We were out there like that. But now we in this truth, which is the light. Okay? So we're not in dark. That's why he said, but ye brethren. That's about the brothers and his knowledge and the sisters who's following it. Okay? Are not in darkness. And what's that darkness? This world. Alright? This um system. Okay? That that day should that that day should overtake you as a thief, as a thief. Why, why? Because you in the knowledge, man. It's not going to overtake you. Why? Because you're going to have stability when that time comes. You're going to be stable. Why? Because you know this word. And guess what? The most High going to see instruction for you what to do on your next move. So you're not going to, you might have a little bit of anxiety, just a bit, but this word is going to keep you stable. I say, okay, the Lord is here. This is what we have to do. You're not going to run around for, you're not going to run around like a, you're not gonna run around like a chicken without a head, man. Nope. 
Why? Because this is the comforter and this is keep us stable. All right. All right. Um, you know what? Let me get that out real quick. That's um, Isaiah 33 verse six. Okay. Just you know, I like to bring out precepts. That's the way I do. It was gonna be more of a rant, but I'm gonna, right now I'm flowing through the spirit. Okay. This is um. Isaiah 33 verse 6 It says And wisdom and knowledge Shall be the stability of thy times Wisdom and knowledge This is the pure wisdom and knowledge man Alright So some people take this as a weakness And it's not This is a strength How we walk is a strength man That's far beyond people can imagine Okay That's why we show We don't show emotions like that That's why we smile at people who hate us, man? Who think who think they, you know, talking their bullshit? But we see you, man. All right. Let me get this out. Isaiah 33 verse six. It says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, and that's the number one discipline. What our people lack, they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Why? Because from their from from their from the womb to they growing up now, they've been taught their whole life to go against the Lord. That's just what it is. And and people say, no, that's not true. Well, it is true. Look what you eat. Look how look look at your lifestyle. Look at the adultery. Look at look at the homosexuality. Look at look at the um the gang banging, drug dealing. The Lord's not gonna it's not gonna bless you for none of that shit, man. Okay There's a reward And that reward is death by pain man And it's gonna come Alright Can you repent? Yes you can repent from all this man You can But when you repent What are you supposed to do? Not do it again Keep pushing forward You know I tell people I give people advice You know They um You know they tell me their, They tell me They pass and everything I said well okay And what what, what you do? You learn from the, you learn from it, you take wisdom from it, and you move forward. You're not gonna do it again. Now you have the experience of what not to do, and you have the experience to push forward. You know that's just what it's about. Don't don't think about your past like that, man. It's, it's about moving forward. Just like us brothers, we were in the world, all right, and then we got reborn through this. We got activated from the Lord, y'all, Bashim Yabshai, and now we're moving forward. Okay. Isaiah 33 verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of times and strength of salvation for the fear of the Lord is a treasure. And the number one discipline, the first dis the first order of discipline is to fear the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Which Yahweh, he only called God. And Yahweh Shai, we only call Jesus Christ. Call on those names. Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai. You're going to see something different. Okay? Um, Let's get back. First, first Thessalonians 5th chapter, verse 4. But ye brethren not in darkness, they shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of night nor of darkness. We're not part of this world. Alright? We're not part of this world. We don't deal with it and everything. We, we're, we're, you know, we in it, but we're not part of it. You know what I'm saying? We're from it, but we're not part of it. You understand my, you understand my drift? Alright? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. We're not sleeping as do others. We're always on our P's and Q's, man, consistently. Okay, we watch the news. We watch reports. All right, we watch how the economics economics of this place be. All right, we watch how our enemies move all the time. Even two-thirds of our own people, we watch them move. Okay, so we watch everything. All right? But, you know, as for others that's sleeping, that's the, that's the people from our world. Two-thirds of our own people are sleeping here, man. They think because Creepy Joe and Kamala, you, you Ugandan warrior princess, is in there, they think everything's going to be all good. I want you to watch this video before when those so-called black leaders want to confront Joe about their, uh, about their demands. And he treat them like bullshit, man. Treat him like bullshit. When you gonna start waking up, man? Throughout all your life, I talk about you, young generation too, and your old, your old generation. What president ever helped y'all? I'm I'm waiting for an answer. 
I'm going to tell you this, man. You might not like it, but there was one person I was trying to help y'all, and that was Trump. <laughs> hey, man. He got your niggas money, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's something different, man. All right? For they that sleep in the night, that they may be drunken, are drunken in the night. And the ones that sleep in the night are the ones that's in the world, man. Who don't, who's lost in the sauce. And what they drunken? By the philosophy of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the American way to America to bring America back again to its, to restore. This place is not going to be restored, man. It's going to be destroyed. Okay? Um, but let us who are today be sober. Who's the, who's the ones of the day? That's the men of the, that's teaching his word. Okay? To mean be sober what? Not it's not about drinking. To be sober for what to, um, for us being in that part of that world, taking their philosophies and bringing the world into this truth. You can't do that. It don't mix. And we seen a lot of dudes fell out because of that, because they were entrapped by their woman. They they were they were they didn't get their head their woman. They didn't get their head out their woman's ass. Mm -hmm. They worried about their job. They worried about people seeing them when they teach. So part of their head was in the world. They want to be a rapper still, you know? So part of their head, part of their head, their mind, their spirit was still in the world, man. That's why they don't make it, all right? Um, okay, let's read verse eight. But let us who are today be sober, putting on their breastplate of faith. This is it, all right? And love, what is love? Follow the law, statute, commandments. All right, to the best of your ability, that's what love is. It's not about I love you so much. No, this is love. Follow the law, such a to the best of your ability. Okay, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. These is our true armory right here. This word, as you can see, they label us as terrorists because we're reading the Bible. That's how strong this armor is and this weapon is, man. Okay, they look at it as a threat. But I guess, you know, I just want to do a little video, a little spiritual rant with scriptures and everything. But I'm saying our people right now in a, that peace and safety shit. Because they think nothing happened, no more Trump, no more racism. You got something coming, man. So then, all praise all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Wakakadash. Double honor to the puzzle and the elders, great millstone, peace and salvation for the whole black outcome. That's pushes word to then. Shalom.